I wanted to discuss this certain phenomenon that I've experienced as an artist, and it is the, um, how did they know to put that there? I have a very hairy arm. Ah, beautiful. Anyways, it's the, how did they know to put that there phenomenon? So I was listening to this track by Boards of Canada, Happy Cycling. It was the track that really turned me on to that group. And so it kind of puts along for a while, it's a simple break beat, a nice little synth groove, and it drives steady for a good like four minutes, uh, four or five minutes before the transition. And when the transition hits, it's like this really great development of harmony. But I just like, you know, I like how it hits. And so it sounds beautiful, it's effective, it's like the logical conclusion to the song. So how did they know to put that there? This is something that I've thought about in a little bit more detail over the past couple of months. And I think I have an answer. It's that they didn't know to put that there. More so, what resulted from their efforts it came about due to a series of micro decisions. So I was thinking about it, like for my videos on music history, electronic music history, for example, I didn't know exactly what the formula was after the first video. I kind of knew better after the third or fourth. So when you're making art and you're like deep in a project, you, you make certain judgment calls along the way. And the full picture is not known until it's finished. So if, if you hear something or if you see something and you say, wow, that's particularly effective, don't then put it back on yourself and be like, could I ever do something like that? Just understand that they showed up and they did the work and they happened to make good, effective, logical micro decisions and judgment calls in, in the moment. And uh, what resulted was the fruits of their effort. And so we get great works like Happy Cycling by Boards of Canada. So, but, but that's the idea. Uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around. I know it's been a little while, but hey, ha happy vlog day. Anyways, I've been John, otherwise known as Frescobaldi. I'll see you next time. Thank you.